Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're playing Altertron, specifically the newer list that I just released a sideboard guide out for the Patreon, patreon.com slash But what we're trying to do here with this list is play as much card selection as possible. So we're playing four Ancient Stirrings. I had been on the crop rotation train before, but I think Ancient Stirrings allows me to trim on my combo pieces, and I have a lot of other card selection as well. We're also playing Candy Trail, which I showcased in the last Altertron video, but it is a one mana artifact that scries two, and then you can sacrifice it to gain three life and draw a card. So it's a one mana clue food, which is awesome. And then we also have the newer card Rowan's Grim Search, which has bargain, and you can sacrifice an artifact, enchantment, or token. If it was bargained, look at the top four cards of your library, put up to two of them back on top of your library in any order, and the rest in your graveyard. Draw two cards, lose two life. So the cool thing about this card is that you don't actually have to take any of the cards, so you can bottom the four cards and draw two. So it's for three mana, you get to look at six. And the fail case is for three mana, just draw two, lose two, which is a more expensive Knight's Whisper. Not terrible, but not very good. And then we have, with the Candy Trails, we have a little bit more life gain in the main deck, so I can go down to two Weather the Storms. Then with the four Ancient Stirrings, I feel confident going down to just two Energy Refractors and three Golem Foundry, two Altar. I feel like we're going to be able to actually find our combo pieces much earlier, or more consistently. So I've been really enjoying this deck. I also am playing four Star and four Wizards Rockets. Used to be playing Sphere here, but Wizards Rockets has a little bit more upside. You can sacrifice it to draw a card for zero mana, so if you're tapped out and you have the Wizard's Rockets untapped and your opponent goes for discard, you can just randomly draw a card and then see what, you know, maybe you want to discard that. But it also has X, sacrifice it, add X mana and any combination of colors, and then, so you can basically take all of your Tron mana and filter it. Uh, one cool thing that I saw someone had done was use Giga Drows in the sideboard for control plus the Wizard's Rockets to just Giga Drows the opponent on end step and then go off. And while that's pretty sweet, I just don't think it's going to work out too great for us. Uh, now this deck here, in the, the main deck, we're also playing the makeshift munitions as the kill piece. And the Ashnod's Altar loop, if you haven't seen it, is sacrifice a creature, add two mana. Mirror Retriever costs exactly two mana, and when it dies, you return another artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Which means that we have a, zero, a mana neutral loop of returning Mirror Retrievers with the Altar. And then while looping, you get infinite counters on your Golem Foundry, making infinite 3-3s. Three making infinite storm, so you have infinite life with weather the storm, and then you can sacrifice half or whatever amount of infinite three threes to make some infinite amount of mana, giving you infinite colored mana, and then uh, shoot your opponent with makeshift munitions. Obviously that's all very difficult to do in Magic Online, but usually we just swing out and attack. In paper, you also have a really sweet loop with Blood Fountain, because it's a sacrifice Blood Fountain return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. So we're going to return two Mirror Retrievers, and then we're going to sacrifice the two Mirror Retrievers to return the Blood Fountain and one other random artifact. And then we'll use that other artifact that we drew, that we got, to draw a card, and then return the Blood Fountain again, and then return the Mirror Retrievers back and forth, drawing our entire deck, or putting our entire graveyard back into our deck with the Conjurer's Bobble. And people ask me a lot, what's the deal with the Conjurer's Bobble? Well, the reason is it can put a card from your graveyard in the bottom of your library, which means that if makeshift munitions gets countered, we can return it. Uh, we could be playing Reckless Fireweaver or something and not playing Bobble, and then having that as like the combo kill. Reckless Fireweaver uh, deals a damage every time you have an artifact enter the battlefield. I just don't think that that is really quite as good because a lot of times versus Mono Red, I'm actually cutting all my combo pieces and just relying on a slow loop with makeshift munitions. Now on the sideboard here, I'm playing three Krark, one Ancient Grudge, one, uh, two Scattershot, one Natrix Claim, Serene Heart, two Weather the Storm, Fang and Marauder, and spell, Nile Spellbombs. So the thing is, this Scattershot here is mostly for fairies, which doesn't seem to be the case anymore. And I'm actually going to just go for um, Cannonade. Uh, the reason being, this is going to be a little bit of a test for Cannonade, and we'll have to see if it's better or worse. Also, actually, I'm going to replace one of the Ancient Stirrings with an off uh, art. Oops. What? Oh, no, that works. 
So we have the one weird art, three cat art. So this ancient stirrings, we're going to notice when we draw it and see if a candy trail or a stirrings would have been better. So you'll see that's how you can test like your one off when you're, you want to check your list. And we'll try the fiery cannonade here because um, the mono red deck is going to spew creatures out with the uh, name sticker goblin. And I think that cannonade is going to be better versus them than scattershot in this case. So let's try that for this league. Uh, that's the deck. If you have questions, ask in the comments. Um, hit me up with a like and subscribe. Check out the Patreon for this list for sideboarding with the scattershot specifically. And I will see you in the matches. And we immediately pair into Siri80, who I've seen a lot on Mono Blue Fairies. So hopefully they're not on Mono Blue Fairies this time. They, they like to uh, play like meta blue decks as far as I'm aware, but we'll find out. I'm going to keep this hand because it's got mine into star. We also have energy refractor, weather the storm to gain life, and ancient stirrings to look for another Tron piece. And they're on Tron. Looks like they're on Alter Tron, maybe. Little wild. I think I'm just going to play the energy refractor now because that'll make my ancient stirring see as much as possible and we just rip a power plant, which is great. So now we can actually uh, grim search the star. Let's see if they're on monster Tron or Altertron. They're on Altertron. I cannot believe they were immediately pairing into the mirror. That is wild. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Um, let's play Candy Trail. So we get to scry two. Put this on the bottom. Deadly Dispute on top. So I'm gonna draw the Deadly Dispute, make a black, and then Deadly Dispute away the star, draw three cards, play the Candy Trail, uh, let's see. We probably just want to try to dig. We have enough uh, in hand right now. Let's bottom these two. And then stirrings. We find a wizard's rockets or a mine. I th and then some card draw stuff. I think I'm going to take the rockets so that I can deadly dispute it to draw more cards. And then your turn. I can't believe we're in the mirror. So they're minimum, I mean, at best, going to have turn four Tron. They have a Golem Foundry. Find a Mirror Retriever. So I can play Mirror Retriever. Then crack for black. Or I mean, make black here. And then deadly dispute the Mirror Retriever. Getting back the Chromatic Star. We find a Power Plant. So now we can go... Rockets, rockets, play the star, and then I'll sacrifice the star for green, looking for another combo piece. We find the altar. So now we need a second retriever and the golem foundry. We also have to be wary of them holding open weather the storm on their turn. Stirrings. So we find golem foundry or mirror retriever, which means we have two of each left. We can make infinite life right now, but that doesn't really help us. I'm going to take the Golem Foundry and then put the Mirror Retriever on top of the pile. That's the turn. They have turn 4 Tron. Playing Lembus. Okay. With the Mirror Retriever in hand, I believe. Yep. I'm thinking on the Scry. They went bottom on the Scry. Plays a Chromatic Star. Sacrifice the star for green, which is interesting. That means they're probably going to cast the stirrings here. They crack the candy trail to draw a card and gain, gain three life. They're going to use their green mana for stirrings. Finding an altar, so they'll have the combo on their turn. Probably just cast the mirror retriever here. Okie dokie. We play the golem foundry. Play Ashnod's Altar. So in order to actually make mana off the altar, we need to cast two more artifacts. We're going to crack this. Or 
black and green and black. Attempted Grim Search, the Wizard's Rockets. So we're going to draw a card, find a map. It doesn't help. We find Mirror Retriever and Tower. So we win the game here. Play the Tower. Play Retriever. Play Wizard's Rockets. Doesn't really matter. Sacrifice this. The Golem Foundry. And then I have to show them that I have. So I have the loop going, and then hopefully they'll be cool. <sighs> Please be cool, person. Okay, now we're going to cast Makeshift Munitions after making mana. God. Okay, Siri80 is a gentle, a gentle person and a scholar. <laughs> we assembled the combo, and we win the game. Whew, scary. Okay, so we need to bring in the Ancient Grudge, the Nature's Claim, three Spell Bombs. We can get rid of the Weather of the Storms. So we're straight up racing here. I don't think Bobble is necessary. We do seem to need the munitions. We kind of have to get lucky here, so... How do we get the most lucky? Like, what's... We obviously need our card, our dig. I think I can trim one stirrings. I guess if I trimmed stirrings and a foundry, because really we're just looking to win via assembling the combo. So we have this disruption. We're going to assemble the combo and hopefully win. Okay, game two. We're on the draw. We have turn three natural Tron. So we go land rockets, land retriever, I guess. Well, although we probably don't want to overextend into their their spell bombs, let's play rockets, turn two, play two stars, and we're looking for card draw spells. So they sacrifice their star for green ancient stirrings. They hit a forest. So we definitely have the mana advantage now, especially if okay they play the forest for turn, plays a map, so they're looking at potentially turn four Tron. We'll go star into star, pass the turn. You can't just F8 with rockets on the battlefield because you can sacrifice it for zero. So I'm just F6ing again. And then I'm going to play the tower and then crack the rockets for a ton of mana. They're playing stirrings and crop? Okay. Interesting. And Lempus? So they're they're basically saying that they don't want to have that much like card card draw. They're going card selection. Slippery karst. What? Plays a golem foundry. Find a spell bomb, which is pretty good. Doot doot doot. Let's crack this. I'm gonna go green, red, and black. Ancient stirrings. We find Altar, Foundry, Retriever. It stinks. So we probably have to take the Foundry here. Put the Altar, Foundry. Then we spell bomb. Uh, like Golem Foundry. We spell bomb. Another spell bomb. Pass the turn. We've got a Candy Trail. It's just uh, golem v golem right now. We're both on seven mana with no colors. I guess I have two colors. I would say based on their list, they probably have multiple, like the four foundry, four altar, but who knows? They play now. They have six mana. Cast Ashnod's altar. Okay. Plays the second altar. So I guess what we're looking for is a, uh, okay, Grim Search is really good. So let's play this Mirror Retriever. They said their, their, their version is not mirror safe. <laughs> okay, we're going to crack this for green, or uh, black. And then Grim Search this Mirror Retriever, getting back the star. So we get to pr get makeshift munitions, and I don't want the rest. We could maybe take the grotto, but we're okay on colors right now. We're just looking for the combo pieces. 
go land, play star, crack the star for black, and deadly dispute Micromatic star. Find another Grim Search. Play Wizards Rockets. Pass the turn. We could also play the Blood Fountain and Loot. I guess it's probably worth doing that. Blood Fountain. We are kind of out of colors, but we can get back the Retriever. Loot. Pass the turn. They said that their version is more all-in with crop and foros. So, oh, and we do have a crystal grotto. Nice. So we can go, we have the golem foundry. Right now we need altar and retriever, and then we have a win. Assuming nothing crazy happens. We had a nice chat, and they ended up scooping. They felt like they wouldn't weren't able to win from this position, and I was just uh, way too ahead, so. GG Siri, and we'll uh, see you on the flip side. On to round two. Round two versus the Gatecrasher. Uh, turn three Tron. Energy Refractor. This hand is busted. Okay, land, map, go. They play a mountain. Okay. Implement, so they're on Koldotha Burn. We're going to go ahead and grab our mine. Pass the turn. And then next turn we'll play Golem Foundry plus a bunch of artifacts. One, two, three. Yeah, plus three artifacts. Then we'll have some a creature. Feeling good. Golem Foundry. Play Energy Refractor. We get to draw a card. We Candy Trail. Okay, I'm going to go Rockets. And then Candy Trail to set up a Scry. Double Trail versus Red. Hello. Pass the turn. <laughs> We're going to gain nine life. Off of my artifacts, and then I can mirror retriever it back. Okay, I can dig it. No problems. <laughs> okay, they've got the name sticker goblin. They roll a four. Well, I mean, what did they roll? They roll a five. So that means they get four mana. Play Koldotha Rebirth. They're gonna bushwhack. They're gonna whack us. Okay. No. Six mana. Okay, this is fair. This is su super fair. <laughs> Please, no. If they have a bushwhacker, I'm pretty dead. Am I dead though? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. They looking for a bushwhacker. Didn't find it. Okay, I guess they had it the whole time. Well, obviously we do this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So if we block a token, it's just one damage different, and I get to keep a creature. 14 damage. Okay. They spewed their entire hand into the battlefield. We're going to go gain three life, play a candy trail. Okay, we have a weather the storm. Top, top, play chromatic star. Crack for green. Play Candy Trail. Scry. Stirrings and Grim Search. So is Grim Search going to be even viable at this moment? At this moment, probably. We're going to gain 12 right now with two creatures on the battlefield. We can Grim Search away the Mirror Retriever to get back to Candy Trail. So I guess I keep both. Play my land, and then weather the storm. I'm back to 17. You didn't kill me? That's your problem. <laughs> okay, they play an implement. They crack. And I'm not playing the golem foundry because I don't want them to have two sorceries of speed ways to blow up my creatures. I want to be able to get it in for a block, flashing it in. Synthesizer. Okay. They find a chain lightning, which I was afraid of, but they seem to not have mana. They have the land. Chain lightning, no pay. So they're gonna swing out. We'll block the three, a uh, two, two. Okay, block. Pass the turn. Uh, draw. Play your retriever. 
Let's crack this green, red, black. We're looking for land here. Stirrings, find a power plant, any order, play the power plant. We can go ahead and gain two life, or gain three life. So we can now deadly dispute the mirror retriever. They have another bushwhacker, we're pretty dead regardless. Deadly dispute the mirror retriever, get back candy trail, play candy trail. But this is going to save me a life right now. I was going to get back the candy trail anyway. I think I'm going to deadly dispute. Get back the candy trail. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. So Candy Trail, Scry, uh, Search and Rockets. I think I'm going to bottom both of these and then play the star. So now I have two 3-3s three again. Pass the turn. So this next turn I can gain two life, gain, gain and draw with the Candy Trail, and then Grim Search the star. So at a minimum they're getting in for six damage. Plays a Goblin. If they have Bushwhacker, I'm dead, probably. Six, this is 14. Reveals a Bolt. Bolt, okay. Cracks the Synth for a Mountain. Make a creature, block your 2-2. Now we take seven and go to 10. Uh, let's start by drawing a card, going to 13. Bargain this Chromatic Star, put it at 11. Find Blood Fountain and Mirror Retriever. Okay. So we can go Mirror Retriever, Black, play Blood Fountain. This is just in case I draw, oops, if I happen to spike a uh, Weather the Storm right now, I did not. So I'll go Expedition Map. Now I have another 3 3. Crack the Expedition Map. Grotto, I guess. Uh, pass the turn. So now I can Mirror Retriever back the Candy Trail, and then I can Blood Fountain back the two Mirror Retrievers, play the Candy Trail, gain life. Just try to get value out that way. They have a Reckless Impulse. We're still just hoping to fade some uh, Bushwhackers. Impulse. Okay, they're going to swing out. Okay, block, 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 take six. We can get back Candy Trail. Uh-huh. Play the trail. Scry two. Stirrings and Deadly Dispute. I think, gonna, let's top both. Crack the Candy Trail. Blood Fountain back the Mirror Retrievers. Play a Treat Retriever. Crystal Grotto Scry. Oh yeah, the Sterns is on top. Maybe that's not worth it right now. It's probably worth it. The Sterns on top. Play a Mirror Retriever. Now I have five blockers. Synthesizer for the opponent. I'm holding open Deadly Dispute, but I don't know if I'm going to dispute anything. I'd rather just eat their creatures, get back the uh, Blood Fountain and the Candy Trail, play the Candy Trail, play the Blood Fountain. I think we're just going too wide for them right now. They have two cards in hand, though. They discard a Great Furnace. Three cards in hand, or two cards in hand still. They discard. Discarding a Swifty. Koldotha again, revealing another Epicure. Okay. They're swinging out again. They make a creature. I mean, block, block. We're going to block everything. They're going to get in with two creatures. We get back Candy Trail, Blood Fountain. We are super grinding them right now. Blood Fountain, get back Candy Trail. We're at five. We have one card in hand. So we're not dead to Fire Blast. Epicure. Before, I guess we are dead to fire last now. They don't have it. Lucky us. Play Candy Trail. 
If I find uh, the altar, we win. Let's bottom both of these. I suppose I could keep the extra stirrings. Let's just draw a card. Be green. Looking for altar exactly. Ancient stirrings. Find it. So we now win the game. So that's execute. Hey, any order. I don't care anymore. Play the altar. Play the blood fountain. What we're going to do is just ex execute the blood fountain loop to get back candy trails over and over. And then this is five mana. Make a black. We're going to blood fountain back the two mirror retrievers. Play mirror retriever. Okay. So now just mirror retriever for the blood fountain and start looping. So I think I'm probably just going to not make you watch this. We're at 16 minutes. Oh, they scooped it up. Yay! What a what a match. What a game. <laughs> I guess it wasn't really the match. So we want to get these ones in. I like the Krarks. I like the Cannonades. I'm gonna cut the bobble and the combo package. One Grim Search. And then I really want to bring in this for relics, but we might just have to force through it. So we'll cut an Ancient Stirrings. So we have a huge life gain package. We have a lot of board wipes. And then the basically our win condition at the end of the game is makeshift munitions plus mirror retriever poke you over and over. And I can make this bigger. My bad. That's easier to see. Okay, submit. So you saw there how they kind of went off with the Name sticker goblins, where if I had the cannonade on that moment, it would just like bleh, all gone. So hopefully we can do that. Okay, what are we looking at here? This hand is kind of slow, but we have candy trail scry, turn two rockets, play the polluted mire, then we can gain life or deadly dispute. So I'm gonna keep. I thought that this was a uh, ancient stirrings at first, but Fangry Marauder's good. And our opponent mulligan to six and now mulligans to five after we kept our seven. Plays a mountain. I think playing the candy trail first is wise. Just because we want to set up our scries. And if we find Tron lands on top. Hmm. I'm going to bottom this. I think I'm actually going to bottom the map here because I want to draw a land. Not the map. The map is like many turns from getting me anywhere. They go for end step, lightning bolt, untap, reckless impulse. Okay, they find mountain. We found uh, Tron land. So I think I want to just go rocket and star. Pass the turn. This allows me to deadly dispute uh, and draw three cards, four cards, after sacrificing the star and the rockets. Okay, they're setting up for a bushwhacker turn. Crack this for black. On a grotto. Deadly dispute the wizard's rockets. And play the grotto. So worst comes to worst. Alright, we have map on top. Let's pass the turn. I was gonna say worst comes to worst if they like have a big turn in bushwhacker as we have weather the storm available. They play a land. They're gonna get in for four. Okay. Draw a card. So we can go map, crack the map, power plant, play the power plant, pass the turn. We still have 12 life to work with, and we can weather the storm if they have a big turn. And if they don't have a big turn, we can think about cracking the candy trail, probably when they attack. There's a goblin, storm one, draw a card, bushwhacker. So we're going to gain... I just showed them I have Weather of the Storm, which was stupid, because they could have a bolt in hand. Mistakes were made. Cast Weather of the Storm. So now, pass. We don't have enough mana to go off yet. Play the Energy Refractor. Gain three life. Any trail. Let's see if I can find a land. Pretty good. Let's draw. 
play a land. And then we can now play Candy Trail again, play Weather the Storm again. I want all of these things, thank you. Cast Weather the Storm. We can cast Weather the Storm now for 12, or we can play Mirror Retriever, but I think playing Weather the Storm is correct. Boing. Game 12. Back to 26. And then this next turn, we're going to play Fangor Marauder, play Mirror Retriever, and uh, gain a lot of life. Let's play the Mirror Retriever first, I guess. No, it doesn't matter. They only have one card in hand. Mirror, Fangor Marauder. And they scoop to the Marauder. But we were just going to play the Kark Clan Shaman and wipe the board, sacrificing the Marauder and the candy, the Retriever in the trail. And then they would have had nothing, and we would have slowly pinged him out. Nice. On to round three. Round three versus Kite underscore. And unfortunately, we have zero lands. Mulligan. One land. I keep a one lander. They mulligan to six. I'm going to keep. We pick the Blood Fountain. And the reason I'm keeping is because I have Scry plus Draw. If I find a land off the top, I'm in. I'm Basically golden. We miss. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I said not to keep a one lander. I have a risky one lander. But I didn't want to go to five. Uh, one of the things is, if you do mulligan deeply with this deck, you're really looking for lands and deadly disputes to try to dig out of the mulligan. So if we crack this for green, our outs are four stirrings and 16 lands. So we have 20 hits. We already put one on the bottom. Green, we're playing against walls. Hey, we found a stirrings. I don't want to play against walls, especially because I took my scatter shots out. Okay, we find a power plant. Uh, I guess we're taking the swamp. Sadly, munitions is on the bottom, but we're gonna put that back in the deck with this shuffle. So we have turn four Tron here. And we have to somehow combo through them, uh, the deck that generally turn threes. So it's, it's going to be hard. Play Aquarian Ranger, play Overgrown Battlement, blah, blah, blah. Oh, they untap. That doesn't work. Play Jespera. Okay, that did work. Now they can tap for another green mana or whatever they want. Now they can cast an Overgrown Battlement or a Winding Way. But they pass. Another expedition map. Too many maps. Let's grab our mine. Pass the turn. Our opponent forgot that they could F6 my turn. So we're sitting around for like 45 seconds waiting for our uh, map crack to resolve. All right, we're going to go crack the map for tower, play the tower, map crack map for the blue admirer, and then play the mirror retriever. Probably doesn't matter either way. Now our opponent is tapping. They've got two green mana. And they are considering their options. Play is the Overgrown Battlement that they for some reason didn't play last turn. Maybe they top decked it. So they are starting Wicked Slow. Wicked Slowly. Crack. Tower. Play Tower. So I just want to thin a little bit. Crack this, get the polluted mire, lay out my rockets and my star. They have three mana. They play a forest and an axe bane guardian. They got two cards in hand. Now they have one card in hand. Tell me what it is. Lead the stampede, of course. Well done. Let's see if they just whiff. Okay, uh, they appear to be comp, uh, cascade walls with Pegasus guardian? What? Tinderwall. Okay, that's not great. Untaps the battlement. One. Now they can cast the Altasaur. Gross. Find a winding way. Congrats to you. Okay, they have one threat right now. Next turn they'll have Pegasus Guardian. Okay, so let's crack this. Might as well. Use all my mana. 
green, green, red, the rest are going to be black. So we're going to bargain away this chromatic star. Well, draw some cards. We get the Urza's Mine, we find Mirror Retriever and Deadly Dispute and Grim Search. So I think I'm just going to take Grim Search and Deadly Dispute. Then I can play the mine, play my Mirror Retriever, and Deadly Dispute my Mirror Retriever, getting back Mirror Retriever. Or I can just Grim Search my Mirror Retriever, this one, get back my other Mirror Retriever, and then I can cast Weather the Storm for 12. I have Ashnot's Altar. Hmm. Another Weather the Storm. So if I take the Weather the Storm here, I can gain infinite life, but I don't think they care that much. I'm still going to take it, I think. Weather. I draw one card for turn. Let's see. They already played the Pilgrim out. Right? So maybe they have five cards in hand, or four, forest, so they must have returned the forest at the end last turn, because they did have forest before. So they have one unknown. They can play this Pegasus Guardian and make a bunch of permanents. There's a battlement, so we know the rest of their hand. Not super threatening at the moment. So all we need to do is find Golem Foundry and then it's the game, I guess. Guardian, Caretaker, Max Bane. Return to forest, so I have forest in hand. There's a Pegasus. And they get to get a 1 1 white Pegasus creature token with flying because they keep re making the forest go away from the battlefield. So every turn they're going to make another Pegasus token thing, which is. So they didn't play the Pegasus for some reason. Okay. I don't know why. Because they wanted to bounce the Althasaur because they figured that they would get Cascade again, but that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Uh, so I can play the Bobble. I have to find the uh, get Bobble back. This Grim Search. The Mirror Retriever. Um, so if I Deadly Dispute right now, I have one... Two, three, four, five, six mana, seven mana, three. I won't have enough mana to actually accomplish anything, even if I grab the. I can just deadly dispute right now. Get back mirror retriever. Find a rockets. Play the astronaut's altar. So they have a combo kill. Right now they have the top deck like, like a. Crazy person to be able to actually get anything done here. I'm going to play the Rockets and play the Mirror Retriever. And I'm going to pass. Next turn I have 6 looks, 7 looks, 8 looks, 9 looks at a uh, Golem Foundry. Because if I actually get the Golem Foundry off, then I can make infinite life after making infinite Golems. And hopefully that will be enough. What is the card you drew? I will block block your query in. So I'm taking 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Get back my mirror retriever. And that's 6. I think I was dead to... Okay, they find another query. In. We have Blood Fountain, which is pretty good. We're going to lead on Grim Search. Bargain the rockets. Go to four. Find candy trail. You just take two ancient stirrings. Okay, I'm gonna take the two ancient stirrings. Cast the stirrings. Wow, really? Okay, I'm gonna take the star. That gives me a green mana. Star. Green. Found the Golem Foundry. Okay, Golem Foundry. I'm going to now cast the Stirrings looking for an Energy Refractor, because that would win the game. Find another Candy Trail. Take the Candy Trail here. 
and then put the deadly dispute on the bottom. Or my card draw there on the order. We're gonna go Candy Trail. There's a refractor. Oh, thank you. Play Mirror Retriever. So now we have the loop where we can just draw our deck, and then we can find our um, makeshift munitions, which makeshift munitions can clean up all of their mana darks. I really just. I'll try to explain it to them that I'm gonna combo. Maybe they'll be nice. Okay, make a creature, play a refractor. Okay, run my mirror retriever back. We have to make sure to click correctly. I asked them if they wanted to go to game two. They're like, what are you talking about, bro? No? Fair enough. Sacrifice. They said, good luck with the clicks. Well, that wasn't very kind. They said, no, I'm not going to do that. But then they said, good luck with the clicks, bro. That's not, that's not nice. <laughs> oh, well. I do have Weather the Storm. They have a bajillion blockers. Now I'm going to uh, Deadly Dispute. My uh, Mirror Retriever. Get back Mirror Retriever. What do we draw? Another Retriever. Okay, so let's sacrifice play the retriever. Sacrifice the retriever. Get back the candy trail. Play the candy trail. Another stirrings and a refractor. So I don't think I want those because I'm digging specifically for um, munitions. It's going to use all the available cards draws that I have. Now I have another altar, which is good because it adds me mana faster. Back retriever, and I'll just cycle this. Okay, we have multiple founders now. So yes, I think at this point it might be better to just go for the million billion uh, golems and pass, but I'm not sure. Cause like, I have so much storm, I don't think they could click in fast enough. Sack this, sack this, Golden Foundry. I'm gonna get back two Mirror Retrievers here, demonstrating the loop. And they're like, oh cool, I'm glad to know the loop now. Cool. Thanks for uh, telling me the loop. But because we have so many freaking uh, Golden Foundries on the table, it just makes it really difficult. Unfortunately, the time is going to be a problem. I'm just going to make a bunch of creatures. I don't even know how many creatures they have on the table. So there's a Walls player that plays uh, in Binghamton with me. Binghamton, New York. We have two Ks now and then. And he was he was saying, like, people were trying to time him out on Walls. And I'm like, bro, scoop to the combo. You're playing combo. I'm playing combo. I won't try to, I won't try to time you if you don't try to time me. But now we're in the situation. All right, I'll stop just rambling. Let's, I'll count off the creatures and try to make enough to kill them. Little do they know I weather the storm anyway. They're like, good luck with the clicks. Good luck. We're gonna have to restart the application after this, that's for sure. Right now we have 30. So after this loop, that's 36 power. And we have 45 power. Or, uh, 15 times 3, 3, yep, 45, on the fly math. Unfortunately, we're going to have to sacrifice one of our golems just to make a weather the storm mana. 15 creatures, so it should be fine now. That's this, we could get back a mirror retriever, green. Unfortunately, we didn't have exact mana. Play Weather the Storm, F6. So by F6ing here, it makes all the weathers pass. But then the issue is that you have to okay through your turn in order to go past the um, the one mana that's floating. So what I'm going to do is hold the 2 key for the okay so that it will quickly pass me into the um, window where I can press, press okay. 
I know they have 15 creatures right now. They're going to have at least 16 next turn. That's the turn. Plays a force for turn. Concedes. Okay. All right, I won't be salty. Kirk. In an aid. We're going to cut the weather the storm. The conjures bobble is not necessary. Question is whether the cannonade can even do anything. Probably not. I'm going to cut a foundry. I would much rather have um, a scattershot here. We could double cannonade them. I'm going to cut a grim search. We're just we're pretty much relying on just Crackland shaman them. We could also just go for the Fang and Marauder plan and then like alter. Bring in all of our stuff, attack them over and over with the Fangon Marauders. Maybe that's a better plan. Because the plan is basically to loop the Krarks. I don't know. Obviously can't keep this. We have no lance. Mulligan. We have to play at hyperspeed because they are threatening us this way. Uh, they mulligan to six again. Once It's the same exact hand as last time. Keeping. Gotta get lucky. Let's put back the altar. We're very far from casting an altar. So we're looking for a Krark Clan Shaman. We found a mine. It's really good. Uh, Blood Fountain on the bottom. Play the map. Lanes. So they're gonna cast a Winding Way now. Guardian Naga, which is vent all damage that would be dealt to Guardian Naga. Oh, three mana, exit target artifact or exile artifact or enchantment. Map, grab a power plant. Next turn we're going to go rockets, refractor, and then attempt a bargain. Plays Axe Main Guardian. Land, rockets, refractor. Oh my god, I didn't play a power plant. That is a problem. That is a big problem there. Darn. Axe Guardian. So we're basically looking to spike a uh, Quark at the moment. They have two mana. This is a 5 6 Vigilance. Just Fair Sentinel. I guess I can crack this for black, green, black red and then see if I get it. I can play Rocket Star and then sack everything. That was a huge mistake not playing the Power Plant. I just clicked too fast. Got a little bit like a little aggressive there. Black, red, green. Find a deadly dispute. Ancient stirrings. Find a golem foundry. Make sure finishes it down on the bottom. Play power plant. Play a rockets. And I'm gonna deadly dispute that. Find a candy trail. I'm going to pass. They have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten mana. Cool. Plays a tuck tuck. So now I have nine mana, ten mana still. Yawn. Plays Avenging Hunter. So we basically need to go star. I guess I can lead on Candy Trail. I have to deal four damage to everything in order to get rid of all this stuff. Grab the forest, play the forest. We can still play Aquarian Ranger. It's a generous end. So they attack us for 10. We'll go green for stirrings, trying to find a tower. <sighs> that did not work out. So I'm going to take the altar here. Play the land. Play so it doesn't now this doesn't matter. Star speed the star. Still looking for Crarkland Shaman. Doesn't matter. Try to draw better next time. I cut all my weather the storms. That was I think I'm gonna go Marauder here. Cut the Golden Founders, but they have the Guardian Naga thing. 
Internet just seems really bad against our deck. It's just not good enough. Bring the Grim Search back in, cut one Foundry. I feel like Weather Storm's not that good. Finger Marauder's gonna be better. If we can get to that point. So we have Tron. At least that's happening. Opponent Mulligan's to six. Land map pass. Hinderwall for the opponent. We're just trying to draw into Kark. <sighs> Grab a power plant and pass a turn. The battlement, so this is three or a bunch of mana. They are power plant. They have rockets and mirror retriever. They don't currently have white mana to cast anything with the Guardian Naga. They have Axe Bane Guardian. This is three, four, five mana. Let's lead the Stampede. Right only have two mana available. We can't cast any of these things. Find another Chromatic Star. Play the Tower. Crack the Rockets. Red, black, green. Bunch of black. Rock card. The Candy Trail. Get that Scry on. Um. This is maybe good. I think I'm going to put bottom the Blood Fountain. Still think I'm going to bottom this. And then we can play Chromatic Star. Deadly Disputed. Ancient Stirrings. Play another Candy Trail. Refractor and Map. Map on the bottom. Refractor is going to be good. So now I can play the rockets. Grim search the rocket. And then I'm going to take none of these. I'm trying to find a Kark. Still didn't find a Kark. So I'm going to go black. Deadly disputes. Is that the wizard's rockets here? Then stirrings. There's a Kark I needed. Take the golden foundry, put the Kark right on top. So it's four from the bottom. And remember, we only have five minutes left, of course. Because opponent is cool. We cast a Winding Way. The only good thing about this, the bit of planes, is that they have a bunch of little creatures that they're probably going to put on the battlefield. There's a Tinder Wall. And hopefully we can just murder the, murder the bejeebus out of those creatures. Okay, they cast a Winding Way, bending a lead the Stampede. They have a million billion cards in hand. Cast the Tinder Wall. They now have the Guardian Naga. They can exile my Mirror Retriever if they want. I gotta get rid of the white mana so they can't put it on the battlefield. Aquarian Ranger, is this an instant? Yeah. They're just dumping stuff onto the battlefield. They played Aquarian Ranger, Battlement, another Aquarian Ranger. Caretaker. We play Althasaur, I guess. Or just Avenging Hunter. Althasaur. Find a generous end. There's a generous end. So everything's big. Cool. Avenging Hunter. Just walling it up. We went 23 cards without seeing a Krark. Actually, we did see a Krark. My bad. We had to bottom it. Ancient stirrings, curse you. <laughs> I just ugh, facing walls is so frustrating. <sighs> Reveals the forest. Probably can't play that. They rescue the foal, their querying ranger. Probably should have uh rescued the fold your avenging hunter, bro. I guess they can use the querying ranger again now. So ridiculous. Alright, so five they're they got red mana. I assume that they're going to play a Tuck Tuck? No. Plays a Pegasus Guardian. Okay. Despera Sentinel. Passes the turn. Makes a 1 1. Well, good for you. Okay. Tower. Crack this. Green, red, black. It's rockets. Let's dispute the rockets. 
We could also dispute the mirror retriever. I think this just draws more cards, so it's probably better. Stirrings. Find an altar. Stirrings. Find the mirror retriever. Okay. Mirror tr That's kind of dumb. Six mana, three, four, five, six, seven. Ashnod's altar. Once again, I'm asking you to scoop the match. Oh, but mirror retriever. Mistaken guardian Naga now. I didn't think about that. My bad. So dumb. Good, good stuff, good stuff. Guardian Naga enters the battlefield. Whatever. Come on, tilt. I'm gonna sacrifice the mirror retriever. Get back. Chromatic star. Mirror retriever enters the battlefield. Play a star. Crack it for red. Whatever, man. He's just trying to time me out. This is not cool. It's opposite of cool. Draw. Star. Play this. Uh, they decide to scry off the lost well. I don't have anything going on. They cast the Guardian Naga. So this is as long as your. Oh, uh, prevent all damage onto it during your turn. Okay. Opponent attacks for a large amount. We block. Kill this thing. Take some amount of damage. Put back my mirror retriever just in case that matters. Right now we have four artifacts on the table that we can sacrifice. Grotto. Okay. Looking for a Krark clan shaman tonight. Bottom this. Let's refractor. Draw a card. There's a marauder. That doesn't help that much. Maybe it helps. Green, they finger marauder. Black. Pain's in life. Oops. Play mirror retriever. Grim search. Bargain the candy trail. Or bargain the retriever. Bargain the candy trail. Bark. Creature. Pass the turn. So they goad my Marauder. Plays an overgrown battlement. I would really love it if we could wipe their board and then somehow win in the amount of time that we have left. That would be so sick. They're just attacking with their flyers? Oh my god, what's happening? They're attacking with many things. Block here. Block. This is 5 power. Block. Here, and then I can block all five power and block some from this. Get back my mirror retriever. Mirror retriever. One map. Put this for green. Actually, I should just use green here. Stirrings. Candy trail. Play the candy trail. I have one, two, three, four. Mm hmm. Bottom these. One. Make a creature. One, two, three, four, five. Crookland Shaman. Press this. Press this. Press this. Sacrifice this. Five, four. Sacrifice. Get back. Mirror Retriever. It's six. Oops, that was past turn. Well, I'm pretty disappointed in the way our opponent treated us. But uh, if I think if I had a couple more minutes, I would have won the game. What are you doing six mana? Oh, that's a set five seven? Darn. I'm just going to scoop it up. See you in round four. Round four, on the play. Double candy trail. I'm going to keep it so we get to look three deep, and then so we go land, scry to bottom, bottom, try to draw land. Hopefully we draw the land. Then we play another candy trail. <laughs> okay, bottom. We did find a land. Our opponent is playing red. 
we're going to play another canyon trail. Look for another land. So we're going to bottom both of these. Although the energy refractor is kind of nice. Still going to bottom. Pass the turn. Then the next turn I'm going to crack the candy trail. Then I can play the mirror tree rear out and then block and get back the candy trail. So this looks, looks like Coldota runs resolve. They're probably going to name sticker go off next turn. Draw a card. No land. Well, yep. So here comes the Sticker Goblin. They're doing it. Four mana. Plays a Swift Spear, plays the Synthesizer, finding a Ren's Resolve. Cast a Ren's Resolve, finding another Sticker Goblin. Cool. Uh, bobble, Cycle. Okay, we have to just play the Wizard's Rockets. Yeah, that one lander is not smart. Every time I keep a one lander, why I gotta do this? Game sticker goblin enters the fray. They can't play their oh they can play their mountain because it's turn four. Cracks finds a lightning bolt. Swacks in. Dork go to seventeen. Play the land. Okay, the epicure. Now they're pretty wide so. We'd have to find Tron in the next two turns. We're gonna crack for green. Stirrings, we did find a weather storm, we find a mine. Any order, play the mine. Let's play, I don't know how to win this. <laughs> I think we just die. Uh, Retriever doesn't really do anything. Cracking the candy trail doesn't do anything. Playing the wizard's rockets, two, four, six, seven, eight. All right, let's go to game two. So there the um, Wizards Rockets being coming in tapped was really bad for us. Uh, and I haven't been paying any attention to when I see the Starynx over the Candy Trail. That's my bad. Weather, hopefully we can just win versus red again. Cut all this and this one. One of these and one of these. All right, we would like to play first. We find turn three Tron. We have turn four Weather the Storm and stuff. Maybe not good enough. We're looking for a non tapped colored source. Land map, pass the turn. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the Wizard's Rockets and pass. Because this gives me the option to cannonade them on their turn three. If they kill the, if they don't kill the map, so if they have a shatter for the map, I'm dead. But I can also stirrings. Well, that's sad. Pretty sad. We're gonna go red, green, find a grotto, stirrings, find a mirror retriever, play the mirror retriever. Power plant on top. Don't think I want that. Retriever go. So to kill a mirror retriever, I get back the map, and then I'll have Tron next turn. Without colors, though. Here comes our favorite sticker friend. Nope. Koldotha into Bushwhacker. Okay, so I can take... I can block here. I think I just still have to take the map. Map. Crack the map. Tower. Play the tower. Pass the turn. So next turn we have Weather the Storm up, also Cannonade. They Reckless Impulse into a Sticker Goblin, so I'm going to hold up Cannonade. Could also Weather them to get in for three. So I when they play the Sticker Goblin, I'm going to respond by Cannonading them. Okay, that was good too. Uh, play the Chromatic Star. And then I can deadly dispute it to draw cards. Draw some cards. So I still have my mana up. Power plant. Pass. So if they play the sticker goblin first, they're gonna lose their reckless impulse. Turn off auto yields. We will wipe you. Pass a turn. So that's exactly how I wanted that to work out. Kind of nice. 
Finally, things are working out. Place a land. Reckless goes away. Are they going to raise me? They haven't been playing raises lately. They attempted maybe to cast this, but they can't because they don't have the mana. Plays an Epicure. Okay, I'm going to play Wizard's Rockets. Pass the turn. I'm looking to do a big turn next turn where I use the Wizard's Rockets to get a bunch of mana. Cast Reckless Impulse. Find another Name Sticker Goblin and a Lightning Bolt. But I don't think they can cast the Goblin right now. Land. Place Goblin. Okay, so if they can bolt me now. But then their mana is going to leave their mana pool. So if they want to actually kill me, they have to have another bolt in hand that they have to use right now. We have a Bushwhacker, and we can respond with Weather the Storm. Pass the turn. Go to 19 and take 7. So going to 12. My Mirror Trigger. Crack this. Done. We're going to go black, red, green, a bunch of black. That's Blood Fountain. So we have 5, 6, 7 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can just go Parkland Shaman, Cast Search, Weather uh, Control, Sacrifice this, Get Back Mirror Retriever, Sacrifice the Blood Token. That's why the storm. That should do it. There's zero cards in hand. Right 28. You can just attack them with a mirror trigger. <laughs> uh, they draw a card. We've got to watch out for relics and stuff. Smash my blood fountain. Play mirror retriever. Uh, crack this. Grab a grotto and play that. See what's on top. Deadly dispute. Okay, so let's draw, then I'm going to pass. Well, might as well deadly dispute this right now, I guess. I don't know either way. Like, we're missing out on using the Fang and Marauder for life gain at this moment, but another Cannonade and Karklan Shaman, so we're pretty safe. They're gonna discard to hands. They're gonna discard to the blood token, discarding a greed furnace. Okay. Play a power plant. It's Bang and Marauder. So that's my big threat. Candy Trail. Scry. Bottom. Definitely land. Yes. Top. Oops. I meant to bottom. Okay, bottom and top. Draw. Play the Wizard's Rockets, and then I'm going to Stirrings. It's going to be a problem. Actually, I'll play the Mirror Retriever. Play this Card Clan Shaman out. Because if they have a uh, Relic, I need to sacrifice the Mirror Retriever to get back the Blood Fountain. I maybe mean, don't need to do that. But I want to keep wiping them. Smash the Smithereens. Thanks for the card, I guess. Now we have seven power on the table. Place an epic here. Okay. Find a tower. Let's attack. I'm just gonna send six. Not attacking with the Krark. Going to star and then crack that for green. So I can do a stirrings. Really just looking for energy refractor, I guess, at the moment. Whether the storm is okay. Uh, there's a refractor. Play that. We get to draw a card. And then I can sacrifice the mirror retriever to get back mirror retriever. That's not what I meant to do, is it? Oops. Play Wizards Rockets. I meant to get back the Blood Fountain. I don't know why I did that. Whoops. A little, uh, a little siloed there. They play Cold Delta. Okay. You got any more where that came from? 
a cannonade. They have to have a bolt here. We're going to get back the blood fountain this time correctly. Let me retrieve her. Okay, they scooped it up. So you can see, my, I think my plan versus them is pretty decent. Try it again. Okay. We have some decent stuff here with the board wipe. I'm going to keep it like a crazy person. Once again, once again, I'm asking you to rip lands. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? And rockets go. Mm -hmm. They're going wide right now. Play my card. They probably see this card coming. They call Dotha again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I don't know. Is that lethal? Am I dead? I guess I'm dead. Uh, they won the match. Oh. Yep. Okay. All right. We got turn threed. Can't really deal with that. So we're just going to move on. Keep. We're on the draw. Let's see if they are also playing sticker nonsense. Walls. We definitely would have won that walls map if we match if we had not. Please no walls. Okay, it's Bogles. That's I don't know how I feel about that. We definitely would have won the walls match in either paper or with more clock. But when you have three foundries in play, it just takes so much time to execute a single loop because of the because of the um, lag. It's just terrible. Uh, let's crack this for green. We have a three three first striker with no trample that we're facing down. Looking for a Tron land. We don't find a Tron land. We find Mirror Retriever, Refractor, Trail. Um, I think we just have to take the Retriever and then try to find a combo. So put these on top. That really doesn't matter that much. Let's look. Deadly Dispute can maybe be okay, but we already have the Ruins Grim Search. Although Deadly Dispute is pretty solid. Let's bobble, put back the stirrings, draw the dispute, and pass the turn. They cast a commune with spirits. So do they find they find a Rancor? So now we have a 7-7. Seven, seven. I think we're just dead. Like, what are we gonna do here? Play Mirror Retriever. Pass the turn. I mean GG GG well played, right? 11, 11 coming in. What do I do? Block. Get back the rockets. So our best case scenario is rip rip tower, go tower, dispute the rockets. Rockets. They have eleven power. That doesn't work. A nine, we go to twelve if they have nothing. <laughs> okay. So that was a similar best case draw, but we still just lose. They presented lethal on turn three yet again. Okay, so we know what to do. Bring in all of the life gain. Bring in all the Crockland Shamans. Get rid of basically everything. Get rid of Stirrings. I think I might get rid of two Stirrings here since I don't need them for what I'm doing, what my plan is. My plan is basically just to wipe them over and over. Oh, I need the bobble for that, for the Serene Heart. So, get rid of one Grim Search. It's kind of expensive. Turn three Tron. So we're keeping turn three Tron, and then turn four we have Fangin Marauder plus Mirror Retriever. Seven, eight man. No, we don't. We can Mirror Retriever with Bargain, or we can just play the Fangin Marauder out. Land, map, go. But now we're looking for ways to kill enchantments. <clears throat> Land. Grab our next land, the power plant. Our opponent plays a Glade Cover Scout. Magic Tonga. Ooh, fancy. Magic Con Las Vegas Grief. This guy has. They're serious. Okay, uh, power plants. Play the pa Candy Trail. That's a good pickup. Scry. Looking for. I guess this is fine. Uh, Top and top. Draw a card. 
play the mirror retriever, play the wizard's rockets. So now we can pass a turn. And then on this next turn, we have eight mana. We can make green black and then deadly dispute the mirror retriever once Fangin Marauders in play. Then play the Conjurer's Bobble, get back the Deadly Dispute. We just Deadly Dispute the Mirror Tree and get back the Wizard's Rockets or the Candy Trail. But once the Fangrim Marauder is in play, that'll hopefully stem the tide a little bit. And uh, their answer for that is going to be the Ram Through, which they may or may not even keep in both side. Like, uh, they probably just run it back. What are they really going to do? Okay, they have three mana. And all the glitters. And a cartouche, so we can block. Ka block. Get back the candy trail. Play grotto. See what we see. Weather the storm. That may be useful. Seven. Let's top that. Crack this for green black. Draw a card. Play Fang and Marauder. Play a bobble, candy trail. I'm gonna bottom both of these. And then pass. I guess I'm pretty dead to a ram through. That's a little annoying. 12 damage. Okay, no blocks. Sure, you gain life. Is this just for time again? Time purposes? Going to Deadly Dispute. The candy trail. Gain some life. Play chromatic star. Chromatic star. Well, let's just go bobble the deadly dispute. Find a map so I can map. Grab a tower. Play the tower. Play star. For black. Oops, that didn't work out for me, huh? And we're going to Grim Search the star. I have too much extra mana now. Found the Serene Heart. Okay, let's take uh, Rockets and Mirror Retriever. Play the Wizard Rockets. Attack. Okay, our opponent has a Commune and an Abundant Growth. You can play the Abundant Growth on their planes. So now it taps for white or green. You have two mana available. Attack for 15. Okay. Let me go mirror retriever. I really want to try to blow him out. Black with a blood fountain. Then I'm going to discard weather the storm. Draw a card. I'm at 21. Cycle this. Attack you. I mean, we'll, we will indeed get wrecked if they have ram through or anything else of that nature. There's a clade cover scout. Green. Negate would be a problem. Play Serene Heart. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Nice lifelink. Okay. Uh. So we just do it again, I guess. I wonder if nature's claim should be something else. Let's get rid of the nature's claim, bring it back in the grim search. Lots of card draw. I if, you know, it does seem like Ancient Stearns is kind of hosing me. I don't know. I have not paid any attention to the arts. They went to 61 on the play. It's for all the marbles. It's for the 3 2. I've been doing pretty decently with Ultratron lately. It's just most of the times you can find a line to not time out, and I just didn't there. Our opponent had so many creatures on the table. This is walls. Then uh, we got Super Murdered. Okay, they're at Bogle's deck. I have a turn 2 Crook, my Shaman. I'm going to keep. Plays a bogle. Mine. Rockets. Plays a commune. Okay, so this bogle's dead. Hopefully. Maybe they play a rancor. Okay, land. Scry. 
Uh, hopefully that's gonna be good. Play a Quirk. That's the turn. So I'm not gonna pop the Quirk until they commit. So it's at least a two for one. Sacrifice. So they're losing Ethereal Armor and the Vogel. Oh, dang it. Wrecked. Indeedly do. Uber wrecked overall, I would say. <laughs> Super wrecked. Uh, tower. The Candy Trail. We have a Power Plant on top and a Grim Search. Let's just go ahead and uh, gain some life and try to not die. Oh, that was bad. Did not expect Tamiyo's safekeeping, to be honest. All the glitters. They got a 9 power creature. Now it's a 10 power creature. 11. Boss. So we're looking for... Uh, you know what we're looking for. That thing that I can't say right now. Let's deadly dispute this. This is going to gain us 9 life if we weather the storm right now. We can play Wizard's Rockets. We can deadly dispute this again. So you see the storm count definitely goes up with the one mana spells. You can play the wizard, the candy trail, looking for Serene Heart. Oh dang. So I can't keep either of these. And then I just weather the storm. That's the turn. Gain 18 life. Which is two attacks. They have a commune of the Rancor, so now it has trample. Sad. 15. What do I win here? I bargain. We have 16 power, so this 3 life doesn't matter. The card draw maybe matters. We're going to attempt to bargain this. Find Quirkland, Shaman, Mirror Retriever, Bobble. So, nothing. Draw 2. We freaking did it. Unbelievable. Okay. I don't want to sacrifice it until combat because... I want to kill their one boogle. Block. Oh, what? When did I turn off? What the? Oh, you see this? Magic. <laughs> MTGO reset my stops when they reinstalled, and now I don't have my steps, and then I can't. Oh, I didn't turn this off. That sucks. Uh, well. So we would have Serene Hearted, then drawn this, so we would have been able to kill their creature. That is a huge bummer. Wow. I can't believe that happened. Uh, what a way to go. So I'm going to turn on my stops. I don't have any idea why that went that way. Wow. Okay. Sad. Uh, hopefully that was laughable. I wonder if anybody noticed that before it went down. Alright. Well, Fiery Cannonade did the thing. I think that's probably better going forward versus the Mono Red, but they still turned 3 to us. So maybe we just have to go back to cut these. We're going to go... Like, and then just go back to this Candy Trail one. Where am I here? I mean, if we're looking at speed being necessary, then we could just go Candy Trail here. With the four trail, four star, four buckets, and then lead on crop rotation to get Tron and weather the storm, and a lot of power for card selection with these two cards. Maybe that's the path forward. All right, that was a weird way to end, but uh, you know it happens. We'll see you in the next video.